Welcome back to the workshop once again, and thank you so much for joining us here. It is always great to have you back. This time, it's not just me. I am going to introduce you for the first time to my girlfriend, Judy. Hello, everybody. Reason being, uh, we have bought a new project together, and it is a sidekick. Finally, I've got my own, uh, our own. Yes. <laughs> um, so that's an awesome thing. Really excited about it. Uh, it's dead stock at the moment, and we're going to slowly build this thing up over time, and you can join us to do that. Um, I don't think I'll go into super detail on the build stuff, because all my build stuff is already kind of covered in the videos that I do uh, normally, but we'll do kind of a new thread of videos that um, kind of highlights the fun that we have together um, building this thing, and, uh, and just kind of gives you a walk around of, of everything that we do uh, mm -hmm. do to it. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. yes. So I thought it best that we uh, we get to know each other quickly before we uh, get started on this new little journey. Yes, indeed. Yeah. I should maybe introduce myself and who I what I'm about. But uh, yeah, my name is Judy, and um, I work in the healthcare field. And so this is a very new experience for me to be in the mechanical world. But uh, some similarities, I guess, that I discovered was um, I like to um, help. I mean, I help people in my uh, profession. So here I'm helping Darren with this project. Um, I really like to fix things, uh, whether it's people or uh, learning how to fix vehicles. And, and I like learning, actually. And so uh, over the years, I have learned from, you know, like my dad, he taught me some of the basic stuff about uh, cars and owning cars and what to look for and uh, keep an eye on as you, um, as you own a vehicle. And so I'm learning here now with Darren, and it's been really exciting and really fun. And uh, so I'm really, really interested to see how this project project uh, goes along. Mm -hmm. yes. And it's a cool throwback for Judy as well, because her first vehicle uh, was a Suzuki Sidekick. Yes. She had, uh, it was brand new, was it not? Brand new, yes. Yeah, my parents bought it for my sisters and me, and uh, brand new off the lot. And it was one of the funnest vehicles to drive. Really. And that was a 92? Yeah, around the early 90s. Yeah, uh, and ours ours is a 91. Yeah. Uh, I think it's a late 91, uh, if I remember correctly. Yes. Um, ours is a four-door. Judy's was a two-door. Mm -hmm. So a little difference there. Judy's was a five-speed. Ours is an automatic, kind of unfortunately. But yes. you get what you're given. Um, we got a decent deal on this uh, little vehicle, so I was quite excited about that. Um, what else can we tell them? Mm, I guess... Well, one of the other things I, I'm, I'm um, very interested about with this whole project is, um, for me, uh, years, years, years ago, I uh, was shown by someone how to uh, change a tire. And so the day came, not terribly long ago, where I had a flat tire. And uh, I was like, hmm, I wonder if I can do this by myself. And I did. And I was really excited about that, that I changed a flat tire all alone. And uh, so that's kind of neat to learn things about vehicles because sometimes the day comes where you're like, oh, I need to do this. How do I do this? And I, I like knowing things, even if they're just the basics, but mm -hmm. I like knowing things. So it was quite exciting to have that opportunity to take what I've learned and actually put it to use. So taking what Darren has shown me and maybe one day putting it to use as well would be, would be wonderful. And there's going to be plenty of opportunity to learn yes. because there's a whole lot broken on this little vehicle. I yes. mean... <laughs> Overall, it's actually in pretty decent shape, but it needs a transmission, so there's a big one. Uh, it need it needed a steering column, which we've already replaced, but you'll see the video of that later. Um, we've done a few things already before we've we've taken this video, mm -hmm. so that way there's a little bit in store, so we can roll out a few videos fairly quickly for you. Um, but yeah, a bunch of mechanical stuff needs to be done, so you're going to do a whole bunch of learning in that yes, regard. Yes. And of course, there's going to be a lot of fabrication going on as well. I plan on putting bumpers on it, um, probably rock sliders, although maybe not because there's an issue with the rocker panels. So we may do an old school uh, trick of replacing the rocker panels with some 2x5 or 2x6 tube um, in place of rockers, but we'll go over that later. Uh, there's a, so there's a, a bunch of stuff going on fabrication wise and mechanical wise, mm -hmm. but another cool thing for you to learn about that I'm excited, which would be uh, for me even more exciting than any of that stuff is when this thing's actually, uh, streetable, then we'll get it out onto the trails and, uh, we'll do some winching and stuff like that. And you can learn about winching tactics and recovery techniques and that sort of wow. stuff, which is a lot okay. of fun. Yes. This is so outside my comfort zone. <laughs> <laughs> so it makes me a little nervous, but, yeah. but quite excited too. <laughs> yes. But, uh, 
kind of a new venture in uh, in our lives and uh, and also in the in the Balmer's workshop channel. Uh, hopefully you like it. Uh, if it's a, a, a thread that you dig, then then let your wife know. There's a, a lady involved. <laughs> yeah. um, you know, maybe maybe we'll get some some more female interest on the channel. Uh, if it's something you don't dig, then don't watch these videos. I'm going to still pump out all the uh, the other normal build videos that I that I would do anyway. So uh, so yeah, if uh, if you like it, watch it. If you don't like it, don't. <laughs> But thanks so much for joining us. Why don't we get a, go ahead and uh, get on with um, introducing the vehicle itself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sounds good. All right on, let's do it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and there she be. So it is a 1989 through 98, I don't even know what year it is, four-door Suzuki sidekick. Comes with its own tow bar, which is kind of handy. There's my girlfriend, Judy. You haven't met her before. Hi. <laughs> And uh, this is our new project. So together, Judy and I are going to try to turn this into something worth using. Um, I'm going to use it for modding up, or for mocking up, I should say, bumpers on it. Um, right now, I don't have uh, jigs uh, that work completely perfectly for these uh, for this model of Sidekick. So this is going to help me out a lot with the rear bumper, especially, and a little bit with the front bumper in terms of uh, creating a jig that works for these so that I won't need to have this vehicle to make sure the bumpers fit perfectly in the future. I'll just be able to build them on a jig and uh, ship them out to customers. So kind of nice to get a start on that whole road. I've been, uh, like I said, a long, long time of wanting my own little project and finally it is here. So not only will it help me with, uh, with the mock-ups and stuff, but it'll be a fun little toy for myself. And clearly there's a whole lot of work to do. Uh, this thing's going to need rust work, uh, it's going to need some serious body repair in the rocker as it has been utterly and completely caved in. So normally what I would do is uh, replace the rockers with, with panels that I cut myself and later on you'll see a pair of those and there's actually a video of full replacement um, on my channel here. But this time it's so far gone that I think what I'm going to do is the old fashioned um, square tube rocker replacement. So rather than replacing the rockers with something that looks a little bit factory, we're just going to replace them with what people often refer to as a rock slider. It really won't be a rock slider truly because it'll be attached to the body rather than the frame. But in this case, it will fill this massive, massive gap that I have. And I think that's a pretty critical thing to do, of course. So there you are. There's also rust on the floor pans. There's rust at the body mounts. Um, and lots of other places, and plenty of, uh, of body damage. The roof is totally caved in um, and warped in every imaginable fashion. That's because it sat in a town called Likely, BC, which is way up north, and it has a lot of snow. So about four feet of snow sat on top of this thing for oh, many, many months anyways, and it has uh, deformed the roof significantly. But it doesn't seem like it's been leaking, which is a good sign. Um, on the inside, you'll find that it has been used to store all kinds of chicken feed. Chickens like oyster shells. It makes the chicken's egg shells harder. And there's a whole bunch of that uh, that the customer is nice enough to leave me. Or not the customer, the uh, seller was nice enough to leave me with. Uh, it's an automatic, which is unfortunate. Uh, the automatic also has an issue. I don't believe it shifts out of first or there's some kind of an issue with that. So we'll have to sort that out. In the back of the vehicle, you'll find a whole bunch of chicken feed that's kind of molding away. But again, I don't think it's gotten too wet in here. Um, it doesn't seem that way, so that's a, that's a really nice thing. Uh, what else can I tell you? The latch on the rear door doesn't work at all, so I'm going to have to replace that. Uh, it'll have my bumpers on it sooner or later. This corner's all crushed in. I think I can probably kind of pull and pound that out a little bit. Um, but what can I tell you? It came with no battery, so we'll, we've bought one. We'll throw that in. I hope it fits. It looks really tall to me, but uh, anyway, we'll see what happens with that. We'll give it a little oil change. We topped the oil up yesterday just so we could try to start it, and uh, Eureka, it did start, so that's a wonderful thing. We'll fire it up for you again in just a few minutes here. Um, it goes to very, very high idle immediately, like so many sidekicks do. Um, super common problem, and if anybody can give me some uh, advice on that in the comments. I'd sure appreciate it because I'd love to not have that high idle issue. But anyway, I'm blabbering on and on. Judy, what do you think of our new 
acquirement. This is going to be quite an adventure. Yeah. I'm excited to see this thing come to life again. I really am. Yeah. Yes. Judy's but. first vehicle was a sidekick. Yes. And I loved it. Yeah. And I miss it every day. It so was, uh, this... a two-door five-speed, yes? Yes. Yeah, so a much cooler model than this yes. one. Yes. Uh, <laughs> and in way better condition. And in way better condition. <laughs> yes. But we uh, we have the uh, the beast now. We'll have to give it a name. And we'll have to give it a lot of love and attention in order for... If it anyone has any ideas for names, leave those in the comments as well. <laughs> yes, yes. Let's name this beast. All right. Well, let's get you on a tripod and uh, open up the hood, put a battery in it, and fire it up. And you can see how it runs and hear how it runs. But uh, unlike us, you won't be able to smell how it runs. <laughs> uh, but that is uh, a reality as well. Yes. It stinks. Yes. Thanks so much for making it to this, the end of the very first video in what could be a long series of short videos based around our new sidekick. A big thumbs up to you for that. Please do come back soon and join Judy and I for the startup of this little rig and stay tuned for much, much more. Take care of you and your loved ones and we'll see you soon.